All right, in this video, we are going to look at a recent update to KOWP. Today is May the 4th, 2016, and sometime back in the middle of April of last month, uh, there was a new update called TU. It's a uh, time of utilities. You can create slideshows with it. Still, I don't have a fix for fading the pictures in and out uh, perfectly. Uh, I know I've had a couple of requests for that, but also we can do other things as well with this new update to timer utilities. Um, let's look at a folder I have on my phone. In SD made, I have some .jpegs. Notice we have some of these right here. Uh, we got six of them in this folder. Okay, actually there's a few more at the bottom. Um, here's some PNG files. Whoops. Here's a PNG, an alarm clock. There's a TXT file. Here's another PNG. Uh, here's some JPEGs. Here's some more JPEGs. There's a TXT. And here's some more PNGs down here at the bottom. So, um, looks like Mario's got his uh, head chopped off down there. I don't know how that's going to display. Let's have a look real quick. What's that look like? Okay, yeah, we can see him. All right, anyway, the point I'm trying to make is this. We can pull images, we can pull text files, we can pull PNGs, or we can pull just specifics. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have this folder here. You have to get the, the path to that particular folder. So I'm going to copy the path, and I'm going to delete this one.jpg when I go into KOWP. But let's just let it KOWP pull some random images. So I'm going to add an image. And I'm going to go ahead and bump the size up a little bit so you can see it. And let's apply a formula to pick image. So going up here to the calculator. And now let's scroll down or wherever your TU is. Uh, here's timer utilities. And let's pick a random image file from a directory. And it says every 15 minutes. That stands for minutes. I don't want to wait 15 minutes for a new picture to come up for this video, so I'm going to do it. Notice we can do it in minutes, can be a fraction, like one-tenth of a minute. I'm going to do one-sixtieth, or no, let's do one-thirtieth. One-thirtieth of a minute is every two seconds. So you got to know a little bit of math to get these pictures to show up with a certain amount of time. So I copied that path. I'm going to paste that path right there. And now I'm going to delete the one.jpg. So if we're doing this, all it's going to do is generate a random image every one thirtieth of a minute, which is every two seconds, and it's going to pull an image from this particular folder. And that's that folder where I have all those JPEGs, PNGs, TXT files saved. So let's check this. Let's save it. And as you can see, it's already pulling images. And let's go back to the home screen. Now these images are different sizes. So you, you may notice that some of them are going to be a little bit bigger than others. Um, notice that one was a little bit bigger. Let's see if it, look, there's the Mario, there's a PNG. So this thing is pulling some JPEGs and it's also pulling some PNGs. Uh, link is also a PNG file. Well, suppose you only want JPEGs or suppose you only want the PNGs. Uh, this, that's a JPEG, that's a JPEG. Uh, there's, there's Mario again, that's a PNG. Well, we can actually fine tune that as well. So what we can do is go back into this code and we can put a comma after this. Let me scroll on back down to timer utilities. Um, we can pull a specific type. Notice we can pull a random image file matching pattern every, now I've already got it set for 1 30th of a minute. All you have to do to this little formula up here is put a comma after your directory and do the path or the particular file you want it to match to. So I'm going to do comma and in quotations I'm going to do PNG. I had a, I think maybe four PNG files. I had Mario, Link, the Hulk, uh, the alarm clock, and I think a Bluetooth thing. There's five of them. There's five PNGs. And I'll tell you what, to show you that further, let's go back to that folder and let's look at my PNGs. It should only pull PNGs now based on that formula, that little code I did. So we got one, we got two, and three, four, five. So it should pull just those five now that I have actually told it to pull a random image every 1 30th of a minute, which is every two seconds, from this directory, and I only want to pull the PNG pictures. So let's check that. Let's save it. There's a PNG right there. Oh, and now all we should see are those five PNGs. It's not going to pull any of the JPEGs. So you can have all sorts of different types of pictures in one folder, and you can tell KOWP what type of picture you want to pull. So I find that very helpful depending on what you're trying to display. Or you can just organize your different files in different folders, but this kind of 
um, makes it so you don't necessarily have to. But as you can see, we are only pulling PNGs. Well, what if we want to pull just the JPEGs? Let's check out the JPEGs. There's several of those. Most of the JPEGs I have here are like nature scenes. One, two, three. There's three JPEGs. Oh, there's four. Notice, notice these are like nature scenes. Um, and then I have some of these too, like the, the funky blocks. That's a JPEG. The little gray with circles. The wooden, black wood, the pirate, and uh, the street, and then the pi symbol. So how do I tell KOWP to do that? I want to go back to that code, come into PNG, and change it to JPEG. And you may notice that it's actually uh, changing it up here too as well. So now it should pull just the JPEGs. So we should see no more Mario, no more alarm clock, no more Bluetooth. As you can see, it's pulling those nature pictures as well as just some of those other ones from the beginning. Now this is totally random, so you might see the same image show up uh, almost back to back, or maybe you might see it show up for a little bit longer. It depends on what random image it pulls. So I hope that makes sense there. Now, keep this in mind too, if you're just getting into KOWP, you don't have to add an image to get this to happen. You can actually add just any random shape you want. So let me position this in the center of the screen and let's change the shape to something, whatever you want. The only downside about this is that uh, I noticed with the PNGs or some of the images, it will only squeeze a certain amount into it. So you may see some things that are chopped off. And I'll tell you what, to show you that further, how do we get an image out of a picture? If you didn't know that, you go over to FX, go down to texture, go to bitmap, and let's apply a code to the pic image. I should have copied that code a moment ago, but it'll be all right. I'm going to go down to TU, and let's pull the PNG. So remember, we can pull a random image file matching whatever we put there. So I'm going to pop that. I want to pull the PNGs, and I want to use that path. But remember, I want to delete the last part of it. I only want to go to the folder where the images are located. So if I check this, I save it. As you can see, Mario's already cut off. Go back to the home screen. It's only going to put it in that hexagon. So it should be, oh, I know what I didn't do. Let me go back to KOWP real quick. I need to change my time, not every five minutes. Let's do 1 60th. It should change a picture every second now. So let's save that. Let's go back to the home screen. And now, as you can see, this should be changing faster than this one. This was every two seconds. This is every one second. But as you can see, it's kind of taking that shape of that hexagon. So uh, that's the only downside to that. Now, the other piece, there are some thing, other things in here you can explore inside of the TU. I want to give you a pretty good uh, overview of everything that is covered here. Um, the TXT stuff. So we want to pick a random file, or we can pick a random file matching this. So TXT, what this will let you do, uh, you can, it helps you... I, mean, I don't know how it's going to be useful yet, but I know some of you probably already have a use for it. So let's look at that text file. Do you remember how we had some text files or how I have some text, text, tiles, uh, text files in this folder? For example, example file.txt and another example.txt. What this will, um, well, here's the only thing I've missed with it so far, just to show you how you can get that particular thing up there. Let's see, um, if I go add a text item and let's pop this at the bottom of the screen, I'm sure there's got to be more uses for it, but uh, this is just a little something I'll show you right now. Let me go to TU and let's do a random file matching pattern every five minutes, but I'm going to change that to uh, one thirtieth of a second. And I only want it to match with the text. So uh, the text, as you can see right there, is what I'm talking about. But let me copy that path back into here, or paste the path, and delete that. So what it's going to show is the actual path um, that I'm going to. Granted, the file's a text file. So it's going to change this. Uh, let me bump this down. Fit width. And let's bump it on up some. Okay, and how often did I have this thing changing? Every two seconds. So let's see if it's going to change back and forth between the two uh, files that I had uh, named there. I had one example file.txt and the other one was another example. So as you can see, the file path is changing. 
Uh, what can we do with that? I mean, to be quite honest, I don't even know what we can do with that just yet. It just depends on um, whatever type of application you may have. But what I did add in that little video cut there is, is some random number generators. And you may say, okay, these things are doing the exact same thing. And that's exactly right. Uh, I guess it's kind of ironic, but then again, let me go into KOWP and show you how I can change that. All I have are some text items here. You can use it to generate random numbers. For example, this one right here. I have it set up to generate a random number. If we go to Timer Utilities, uh, we can generate a random number between 10 and 20 every minute. Well, I did it for every 1 12th of a minute, which is every 5 seconds. It'll generate a number between 10 and 20. And I think that does include those numbers. Um, however, what we can also do is we can do a sequential. So let me change this random, R-N-D, to S-E-Q. I don't think you can apply S-E-Q to the images, though. You may be able to. Uh, I don't think so, though. So sequential is going to count from 10 to 20 and it's going to include them and it's going to change every five seconds. So now you'll notice that the one on the left is going to generate a random number, whereas this one over here is going to generate a sequential number. So it's going to go 13, then 14, etc. And it's going to do this every five seconds. So these two numbers will change from 10 to 20. This one will count up every five seconds. This is going to do a random number. Now obviously you can go into KLWP and change that 10 and that 20 in that code to get something, uh, you know, whatever numbers you're trying to get. But uh, yeah, you know, that's a somewhat of a thorough overview, I think, of the TU, Timer Utilities, and KOWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.